Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Real quick, I do want to mention I'm so sorry this video is going up late. I typically like to have my videos up and live by 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings, and I know this one's going up late today. I'm actually filming, editing, and uploading this video today, the day that you're watching it. Typically, I like to get my videos filmed, edited, and uploaded at least a day before they go live. So this is definitely a little bit rushed for me, but I did want to get a video out today for you guys, and again, I want to apologize for my unkept appearance. I don't have any makeup. My hair is not really done. This is just my natural hair. And I just kind of sat down right here in front of my Christmas tree and wanted to film a video real quick for you guys. So this is going to be a pretty short video, but today I do have a mini Sephora haul for you guys. So I recently purchased some items with some birthday money I had gotten, and then they were also doing their semi-annual sale where you got like 10 to 15% off your entire order. So I decided to grab a few items. Some things are new, some things are my favorite, so I wanted to share them all with you. Also, I apologize if the lighting starts to change. I just have natural light today. I've got the windows open and it is quite cloudy, so I know the clouds keep going in and out in front of the sun, so I do apologize for that as well. This is a very unplanned video, guys. Okay, so let's just jump into it. Let's go through the items that I have used before and I'm repurchasing because I love them. I went ahead and got the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. It is my everyday face wash. I really like this. It's just a very, like, basic, calm. It works well with my sensitive skin. So this is just a face wash that I've been loving. This is my second bottle of it and I highly recommend it. The next thing I have in here is a Anastasia or Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And I got this one in the shade Soft Brown. I use their, uh, what is it called? Their Dip Brow Pomade, I use that pretty much every day and I have that in the shade Chocolate. I really like that color because it is so dark, but then I also wanted something that I could use if I didn't want my eyebrows so, so dark or if I wanted to go in really quick just to fill them in. So I went ahead and got the soft brown shade. Going along with the eyebrow pencil, I also picked up the Benefit Gimme Brow brow, vol vol brow volumizing fiber gel. And I have never used anything like this, but I've tried it out a couple of times now since I've purchased it and I really like it. I got the shade uh, four and a half. I have no idea what that translates into anesthesia terms. It's probably just a medium brown color, but I really like how I can just easily just like swipe this over my eyebrows and I'm kind of good to go. I don't have to really fuss about anything. So this is an even easier version than the brown pencil. I like to have like the different stages so I can just easily put on eyebrows no matter how much time that I have or how little time that I have. The next thing I have in here is kind of something that I have tried before, but I've never actually purchased the full size. I went ahead and got the Nest Fragrances Wild Poppy Perfume, and I got the rollerball. Uh, I usually get a rollerball version just because I can't go through perfume fast enough uh, before it starts to go bad. So instead of getting a big bottle, I'll usually just get a rollerball or the uh, little travel versions. So I really like this perfume. I had gotten it in a couple of samples from Sephora, and this is actually the perfume that I wore on my wedding day, so I really did want to get a bigger size of it so that I can wear it and just remember that day. Um, so yeah, I, I absolutely love this perfume, and I feel like it smells very sweet, but it's not too overpowering, and it's just like a very nice scent in my opinion. The next three things I have not tried before at all, and this is the Moroccan Oil Intense Hydrating Mask. So this is a hair mask, and I just went and got the little like sachet one. I didn't get a tub or anything, and I just wanted to try it out, see how I like it. I used to use the Mac, I think it was Macadamia Nut. It's been a few years. I used to use Macadamia, I think that's what it's called, um, and I loved their uh, hair masks, but I think they changed the formulas. I don't know, I just stopped buying it. Um, so I want to try this out, see how I like it, and compare it to what I used to use in the past. So, and my hair is definitely in need of a little bit more hydration. <laughs> As you guys might be able to tell, I have pretty like wavy, curly, frizzy hair, so hydrating it is really important. So I want to go ahead and try this mask out and see how I like it. Next up, since we have been going into the winter months where I live, the air has been getting very, very very dry and my hands particularly so i decided to get this l'occitan hand moisturizer it's got a lot of french on it i believe so i can't really read a lot of it but i believe it's in the almond scent i was just gonna smell it for you guys but i just put that perfume on and i know i'm not gonna be able to like 
really differentiate the products too well. But I've heard a lot of good things about this hand cream. I've heard that it's very thick and moisturizing, but it's not like overpoweringly thick. Um, and then because it's the almond scent, it smells really good as well. So I'm excited to try this out and I'll let you guys know if I do like it. Also, I'll make sure to link everything down below as well. That way, if you guys are interested in any of these products, you can go and look at them yourself and check them out. The last thing that I have to share with you guys, and this is kind of what I was most excited about. It is by Mount Lai or Mount Lie. I don't know guys, I'm really bad at pronouncing things, but it is their Rose Quartz Trio Soothing Facial Set. And essentially what this is, is a couple of their Rose Quartz facial rollers and then their, I think it's called, pronounced Gusha. So I got this set and I was actually kind of eyeing their Amethyst roller, but I really liked the idea of being able to get a set of three so I can try out the different sizes and then get this tool as well. So I'm excited to kind of like give myself a little at-home facial with these and try them out. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. I have no idea how to use this or what to do with it, but it came with like a little little how-to card. So I'll definitely be, be reading this and watching a ton of YouTube tutorials. But let me know down in the comments if you guys have ever used one of these and what you think about them. And if you have a specific brand that you like or a specific facial oil that you like using with them or anything like that. I like have no idea how to use these things, so I'm totally curious. So that is everything that I have to share with you guys today. I know this was probably a really quick video and like I said, there wasn't a lot of thought or production put behind this, but I did wanna get a video out for you guys today. I have been focusing this whole week on filming a work week in my life video for you guys. So that is going to be coming up and kind of why I was running a little bit behind with this video. I kind of wanted to take a break after filming the entire week. And then also recently I've kind of been getting caught up in doing a lot of research for Sean and I's honeymoon and kind of planning all of that and figuring out what we need and where we need to go, all that stuff. We do plan on putting together like a honeymoon planning series over on our family vlogging channel. So make sure to go subscribe over there if you guys haven't already. We're going to kind of talk through all the different things and how we plan and all that stuff. But that's basically what I've been really focusing my attention on recently, which is why this video kind of got put on the back burner for a bit. But I do love filming these videos for you guys and I didn't want to let you down and skip out on a week. So I hope you guys don't mind this last minute video, but with that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you did enjoy it even though it was pretty quick, and other than that, I will see you guys next week. Bye!